do Amish couples separate and divorce? So divorce is not permitted in the Amish church. So that's something you're not going to see. Now, have divorces never in the history of the Amish happened? Now, I'm not going to say that. Divorces have happened, uh, especially if you have someone who leaves the church, okay? But then they wouldn't be a member of the Amish church anymore. So they believe those wedding vows are for life. They have a strong Christian, biblically-based belief in that. Uh, it's not something that's sanctioned or permitted in the Amish church. Now, we have separations in the Amish church. That may be something that you could see. Um, I remember meeting an Amish woman who was, at that time, separated from her husband. So the Amish are human, too. They have personal issues. They have relationship issues that happen. And they're not immune to that. They're not, uh, you know, they're not perfect. And that's something that they will themselves remind you of. So you may see a situation like that. But as far as divorce goes, that's not something the Amish uh, would permit. And as far as, you know, getting divorced and remarrying in the Amish church, that's not something that they would do. Um, and again, Amish being human, they realize that marriages are can need some work and may even need some help to succeed. And some Amish... Couples will go to counseling if needed. Um, others might not, right? And, you know, that's can be, I guess, unfortunate in those cases because, you know, there are definitely unhappy Amish marriages. So the ideal maybe picture of the Amish is living in sort of a, uh, you know, perfect happy utopia where everyone is just, uh, you know, full of joy and everything works great uh, is not the correct picture. You know, that doesn't mean that there aren't a lot of good things about the Amish way. And uh, that does, I would say probably on average, the Amish couples that get married, I would say on average, they tend to be happier than the non-Amish couples, especially if you do look at the current you know, divorce rate in non-Amish society. So the Amish aren't perfect there. Uh, they realize they're not perfect. And of course, there are a lot of happy and healthy marriages among the Amish as well. I'm just pointing out that they're not all perfect. And they deal with some of the same issues that we non-Amish people do. Can Amish remarry after a spouse dies? The answer to that is yes, and it happens fairly often. Now, in that unfortunate case, if a, a spouse dies, especially at a young age, but even, even later in life, uh, it's not uncommon that Amish will uh, find a new partner and will marry. It, it may be someone that had never married before, uh, marrying someone who had lost, uh, you know, her husband or his wife. Or it could be two families where both sides uh, already have children and were both married, and so then you have a, a blended family there. So you can have a quite a large family in that case. So that's something that the Amish permit that's totally acceptable uh, in Amish uh, society. So you'll see that happen fairly common. And I mean, if you lose someone, you, you know, naturally... At some point, just like non-Amish people, someone may want to find another special person to have in their life, and uh, and they do that. Sometimes they may may know if you know if it's a larger community, you're going to have some single Amish people there. You know, you'll know others in the community that are that are not married. You may have some correspondence by letter between potential uh, future uh, husband and wife. As far as how does the, the dating work, that's Another topic, I guess, we should go into dating for youth and and uh, how that might compare with older Amish in that situation, maybe in another video. So any other questions on the Amish in marriage, weddings, those kinds of topics, just leave those in the comments. I do two videos per week, so if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and that will keep you in the loop. By the way, my name is Eric Wessner. I'm not Amish, but I've visited many Amish communities and Amish homes across the country and I run the Amish America website. Thanks, talk to you next time.